Did you know that 12% of women experience acne past the age of 25? That's right, it's not just an issue that affects teenagers. And when our skin is flaring, dealing with pimples, breakouts, or that constant irritation, it affects how we show up and how we connect with people. And most importantly, how we feel in our own body. If these feelings resonate with you, you're not alone. This video is for you. As females, it feels like we can spend hundreds on serums, scrubs, and spot treatments that promise results, but at the end of the day, feel like they change nothing. But what if our skin just needs a different kind of support? For many, red light therapy was a turning point, a tool that helped them stop battling and start working with their skin. No harmful chemicals, no pricey in-clinic therapies, just sit there and let the light do the work. And if you're tired of the harsh approaches that never move the needle, we made this video for you. I'll break down what red light therapy is, how it might help with things like breakouts, and what realistic expectations should actually look like. Hey guys, I'm Fenella from The Loom Box, graduate from Stanford University with a Masters of Science. I have a deep passion for all things red light therapy, so I'm here to help you understand the science and turn it into everyday health. Let's be honest, skin issues don't just live on the surface. When our skin's irritated, inflamed, or breaking out, we often don't feel like ourselves. Now, I was experiencing this, but when I started to put two and two together, I realized that while oily skin, clogged pores, or bacteria growth that were contributing to breakouts on my surface skin could actually be a reflection of what was going on deeper inside. It could be gut imbalances, chronic inflammation, hormonal shifts. The skin is just the messenger. Now, here's the part that doesn't add up though. Why do most skin treatments only go skin deep when very often the root problem is below the surface? This made me frustrated because they target the symptoms, not the underlying inflammation or stress beneath it. And that's exactly why one particular tool has gained so much attention. And the best part is it's science-backed, non-invasive, low effort, and supports your skin's natural healing from the inside without adding more stress from the outside. That tool is red light therapy. I mentioned that acne is often triggered by excess oil production in our pores, mixed with a buildup of dead skin cells and bacteria growth in the pore too. All three of these things can trigger an inflammatory response. And that's where we start to see a bump in the skin with swelling and redness. Sometimes they can form those cysts too. Now, obviously acne is super complex and the reasons why this happens varies from person to person. And it could include things like hormones, gut dysbiosis, and even food sensitivities like dairy. So you should work with your doctor to tailor your exact treatment protocols. But for the purpose of this video, I want to share why red light therapy is a tool that's being widely used to target these skin issues. Let's break it down into three key ways it works on the skin. First off, red light therapy may help dial down this inflammation. Specifically, it may help lower TNF alpha, that's a key inflammatory signal that triggers spreadness, swelling, and those deep, uncomfortable pimples. Some studies show it may even reduce the number and severity of inflammatory acne lesions over time, especially with consistent use. Second, specific wavelengths of red light, like 660 nanometers, are known to activate the mitochondria in a way that nudges them to make more cellular energy. Of course, all our cells need energy to function, so they can use this energy to help repair damage, calm down inflammation, and normalize dysfunctional cell activity, like if our skin is producing excess oil, for example. Third, red light therapy may support our body's natural healing processes by activating fibroblasts. And these are the cells in our skin that make collagen. I'm sure you've heard about collagen. With more strong collagen, our skin can repair better after the damage, and it may even tighten those pores too. So are there clinical trials to actually show this? Yes, you'll be amazed by this. In a randomized, single-blinded, split-faced clinical trial, they assessed the effect of a portable red light therapy device on the appearance of acne. Now, a split face study means they only treated one side of the face with red light. So the other side acted as a built-in control. In this case, 28 people used red light therapy for 15 minutes twice a day, but only on half of their face. 
So after eight weeks, the researchers could directly compare the treated side to the untreated side to see what kind of a difference the light actually made. They took clinical photos and also counted the number of lesions on each side of the volunteers' faces at weeks one, two, four, and eight. Their conclusion was this. The percent improvement in non-inflammatory and inflammatory lesion counts on the treated side was significant compared to the control side. Here's a couple of pictures from the study. You can see that the bottom two photos don't show any change in acne because that was the side that didn't receive light treatment. The top two pictures show the treated side of the face and you can really see some impressive results before and after treatment in just eight weeks. The science is great, but if you're just staring down a breakout in the mirror, what does it even mean? We saw in those clinical studies that visible changes took four to eight weeks and that came with consistent use. So to be clear, red light therapy isn't a quick fix. You also should be addressing underlying root causes of the skin conditions. For example, looking at your diet, hormone balance, gut health, and treating these conditions from the inside out. But for many people, red light therapy is an easy, sustainable, and super fun addition to their routine. And the best part is they don't just love it for their skin. Stephanie here bought a loom box for skin healing, but now she uses it for pain, sleep, and is even having her husband use it for hair regeneration. By the way, if you're looking for a quality red light therapy device that you can use for skin and all these benefits like Stephanie, use code 23LBYT or click the link I've dropped in the caption for you below. You can save $260 on the Lumox, which has been third party tested for both wavelength and irradiance. So earlier when I mentioned the specific wavelengths of red and near infrared light that target the mitochondria, this is what I was talking about. The most studied wavelengths in studies are 660 and 850 nanometer wavelengths. So naturally, Lumbox was designed using these exact wavelengths too. Plus, that higher radiance, it's crucial if you want to use the device for more than just your skin. Any company can just cherry pick in a radiance number to put on their website, but the quality you can trust comes in a device that has their irradiance verified by a third party. And this way you can be sure that the light will penetrate below the top two to three millimeters of the skin to reach those deeper tissues and joints. So get a powerful quality device, that's step one. Step two, how do you get those results? Well, everybody's body is different. Some people see improvements quickly, while others might need more time or just consistency. Just like with diet, exercise, or skincare, the key is tuning into what works best for you. Now, one of the most common questions we get is that people don't know how to fit red light therapy into their routine. So if you're thinking about this too, start simple. You don't need to overhaul your life to benefit. Maybe you just use your loom box for six minutes while doing morning breath work or waiting for coffee to brew. Find one habit that you can stack red light therapy with and stick with it for just one week. Try that and experiment. So once you're there, place Loombox about six inches away from your face. Switch it to red mode, like so, and relax. Easy. Here's what I want you to remember. Your skin doesn't need to be fixed. It needs support. And sometimes that support comes from the most unexpected places. Light therapy isn't magic, but for many people, it's been the gentle, consistent approach their skin was asking for all along. If you're ready to try something different, something that works with your body instead of against it, red light therapy might be worth exploring. If you're ready to take on the next step, check out our complete beginner's guide to red light therapy linked in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.